Hi, it's Mark out here with you today on this windy December. Uh, and the question today is, if it all came down to one gun for you, what gun would it be? I'm talking about handguns here, pistols or revolvers. If you only had one, if it came down to one, with any accessories that you wanted on it, what gun would it be? If you had to get rid of all your guns except for one, what would you keep? And that would include any accessories you wanted for it. I'm going to show you the guns that I use on a weekly basis, guns that I carry under all different kinds of conditions, guns that I regularly use, I regularly carry, and what the calibers are, what the brands are, everything that they are, then I'll show you what my gun would be if it came down to just one gun out of all of these right here. I think I've got five guns sitting over here. Which gun would it be for me? And then, after you watch this, let us know down in the comments down here, which gun would it be for you? Which handgun would it be for you that you would keep if you had to get rid of all others? And that would include accessories, any kind of accessorizing you wanted to do to it. One gun, what would it be? And a revolver or a pistol, which one would it be? So come along with me, let me show you what mine would be. After I show you these working right quick, we'll see what mine's gonna be. Would my one gun be a Glock 23? This Glock 23 that I've got, I have a, a 9mm conversion with it, so I can shoot it in 20, uh, 40 caliber or 9mm, either one. I've got it set up as a 23 right now with 40 caliber. This is a gun that I carry from time to time. I've got two guns in one. Would it be this one if it was my only gun? I love the hard hitting quality of a 40 caliber pistol. I have to slow down with Would my only gun be my Stoger Cougar? This is my home defense gun. It's a utility gun. It's a gun that will handle anything. It's, 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 a, it's a bare bone steel frame gun that runs and runs and runs and runs. It's been impeccable as far as dependability goes in 40 caliber ammo. Stoger Cougar, my home defense gun. I carry this thing when I go out fishing. I carry it out in the woods in a sticky holster. I carry it all over the place. I carry it down on the river when I'm running my dogs. This is a gun I carry with me a lot of places as a utility gun. A dependable, hard-hitting gun in 40 caliber, the Stoger Cougar. Could it possibly be that the one gun that I would keep would be the Smith & Wesson Shield in 45? What a gun. Absolutely impeccable as far as dependability. Hard hitting 45, seven rounds of 45 in the, in the, in the larger magazine, six rounds of 45 in a smaller magazine. And the gun has been perfect as far as its operation. It's a gun I've had for about seven or eight years. I carry it about 80% of the time. Could this be the gun that I would choose over all the others if I had to get rid of all of them except for one gun? Would be, this be the one that I keep? Any of you that watch any of my videos know my love for the Walter Q5 match pistol. You've seen this gun out here, you've seen me with this gun out here making these shots at, at headshots out here at 30 yards and making them confidently. It's the gun I carry in large crowded environments. The grip on it, uh, what's unique, it comes with 15 round magazines. The grip on it is rather short for a gun this size and for a match pistol. It's got, the, it's got a grip about the length of a Glock 23 which makes it ultimately very concealable. The Glock Q5 I'm sorry, the Walter Q5 match pistol. Would this be the gun that I would keep with this red dot sight, which I've loved so much shooting it these three or four years that I've owned it and depended on it in large environments with a lot of confidence as to its controllability and how, how absolutely dependable and how absolutely accurate it is. Would this be the one?
Finally, what about the simplicity of a revolver? This Taurus Poly Protector, how much better could it be? This little gun right here, it's a 357 Magnum. So it'll eat anything from 38 specials all the way up through the hottest 357 Magnum loads. Simple, dependable, easy to carry under any conditions. You can throw it in a pocket, you can put it in your pants pocket, you can put it in a coat pocket, you can carry it in a small holster, you can carry it in a sticky holster, you can carry it in an inside the waistband holster or a waist holster. Always with five rounds of hard hitting 357 Magnum ammo in it, would this be the gun that I would keep if I had to get rid of all the rest of them? I'll be shooting up a little closer with this one. So what's the verdict? Well, if I had to come if it had to come down to one gun, I don't know what you all guessed, but if it had to come down to one gun, it come back to the one that I've gone to for years and years now. I come back to the Glock 23 and this would be my only gun if I had to get rid of all the rest of them. This Glock 23 it has the capability of shooting, of course, hard hitting 40 caliber ammo. And with this gun, I have a conversion barrel and several nine millimeter magazines and I can switch it over to nine millimeter here in about 30 seconds and be shooting a nine millimeter along with the 40 caliber ammo that I can shoot with the different barrel and magazines in it. So I've got two guns in one. Absolutely dependable, just like Glocks are. And this is one that I've been shooting for a long time. I depend on this gun, I trust this gun. I have two guns in one with all the accessories that I can get everywhere for a Glock. This is a gun I'd come back to. This is a gun would be the only one I had if I had to get rid of all the other ones. What's your gun? What is your gun? Not, not your favorite gun. My favorite gun was that Walter Match Pistol. I love shooting that thing. But it wouldn't be the one if I had to get rid of all the rest of them. This would be the one I'd keep with everything that comes with it. My Glock 23. So what would be the one gun that you would keep if you couldn't have any other guns, if you had to get rid of all the guns that you have? What would be the one handgun, pistol or revolver, that you would keep in lieu of all the others if you had to get rid of all of them? If you could only have one gun, what would it be? Tell us about it down in the comments and tell us why. All of that is valuable down there. What I can say in these videos is made a whole lot more valuable by your experienced input. So please tell us what your confidence gun would be, what your gun would be that you would keep if you had to get rid of all the rest of them. Mine, the Glock 23. I'm Mark, and I'll see you again soon in another Christian Gun Owner video.